Electric Field Lines Michael Faraday, 1791-1867 introduced the idea of lines of forces. Electric Field Lines Field lines give us a means of representing the electric field pictorially. The electric field vector E is tangent to the electric field line at each point. The line has a direction that is the same as that of the electric field vector. The number of lines per unit area through a surface perpendicular to the lines is proportional to the magnitude of the electric field in that region. Electric field lines general the density of lines through surface A is greater than through surface B. The magnitude of the electric field is greater on surface A than B. The lines at different locations point in different directions. This indicates the field is non-uniform. Electric field lines positive point charge. The field lines radiate outward in all directions. In three dimensions, the distribution is spherical. The lines are directed away from the source charge. The positive test charge would be repelled away from the positive source charge. Electric field lines Negative point charge the field lines radiate inward in all directions. The lines are directed toward the source charge. The positive test charge would be attracted toward the negative source charge. Electric field lines Dipole The charges are equal and opposite. The number of field lines leaving the positive charge equals the number of lines terminating on the negative charge. Electric field lines Like charges The charges are equal and positive. The same number of lines leave each charge since they are equal in magnitude. At a great distance, the field is approximately equal to that of a single charge of 2Q. Electric field lines. The positive charge is twice the magnitude of the negative charge. Two lines leave the positive charge for each line that terminates on the negative charge. At a great distance, the field would be approximately the same as that due to a single charge of positive Q. Electric field lines. Rules for drawing The lines must begin on a positive charge and terminate on a negative charge. In the case of an excess of one type of charge, some lines will begin or end infinitely far away. The number of lines drawn leaving a positive charge or approaching a negative charge is proportional to the magnitude of the charge. No! Two field lines can cross.